NBA 2K25 cover and pre-order details is right around the corner. It should be this week, so in this video, we're going to talk about everything else coming up today. We're going to talk about all 2K25 rumors, all 2K25 updates and information in this video. Make sure you like and watch the full video so you don't miss any details. And sub if you knew. As you know, 2K24 dropped July the 6th last year, which was a Friday right after 4th of July. So what you think they're gonna do? They normally follow the same cycle every single 2K year. So I would expect the cover athlete announced and the pre-order details to be dropped along with all the other versions, we're gonna cover that in a moment, to drop July the 5th, which is Friday. So I expect July the 5th to be the day, 2K day. You know what I'm saying? 2K, we're gonna announce 25 and all that on the comments. Are y'all excited about the pre-order? Cause a lot of y'all be talking about we done with 2K. Y'all the main ones pre-ordering that joint too. Y'all the main ones capping and pre-ordering the game right after. So let me know what you think about that. Now, what they normally cover in the pre-order, they normally cover the standard version and a deluxe and then like a legend version. So what normally happens is they have the base cover athlete which we believe to be Jason Tatum. If you watch the last 2K video I covered, it should be Jason Tatum's what it sound like. He'll be on the standard. There's normally a deluxe, like a player in the middle, or it's just another Tatum cover. And then there's normally a legend. So for legend, I would think they would add somebody like Allen Iverson, somebody that has a tie in 2K that hasn't been a legend cover. And I believe they had an Allen Iverson season this year. They had an Allen Iverson thing where they had all his clothes and his sleeves and all that. So I really wouldn't be shocked if Allen Iverson was on the cover. Really wouldn't be shocked. So keep your eyes open and peeled for that possibility. That poss that's a strong possibility that could happen. I also believe Sabrina gonna have her cover. I mean, she was a star of 2K season eight in 2K24. So that was one thing that already I already think gonna happen. They're gonna have a cover women cover athlete. They have it every year. Go another one right there. You see 2K22's cover athlete. They they normally have one. So expect Sabrina to be a cover of one of them. Now, now 2K also did something I've never seen them do uh, talk, while we talking about season eight. They allow the rewards to carry over. So in this season, I didn't get to talk about the season this yet. You know what I'm saying? The season yet. But they added dual entitlement. So everything you buy in this Pro Pass this season transfers over to 2K25. You already know they're going to do it for Season 9 too, for sure. So you're going to get this robe. It might be a little blurry. You got, you're going to get this robe, this t-shirt, and then this Derrick Rose car. You get, a, you get both of them, I guess. And then you get the shoe card. So you get all these things in 2K25. Let me know if you got that robe and that t-shirt. I didn't even get it. But let me know if you think that's worth it, that they starting to add dual entitlement stuff. Is this the beginning of where they're gonna start transferring stuff? Will we be able to transfer our VC from now on? Ooh, how would y'all feel if we can take our VC from 24 over to 25 now? Huh? What, like they starting to trying to transfer stuff. What else they finna transfer? You know, we gonna, we gonna, gonna transfer something else? Like our rep status? No, I ain't gonna do that. But you know, get, just let us keep, matter of fact, they should let us keep all our clothes to be for real. You know what I'm saying? They should let us keep all the clothes we already have and transfer it over. But you, you know, <laughs> you, you, you know that, that that's losing too much money. You know they're gonna be like, hold on, now, chief. Like like we we gave you a little pass, but you, you're going, you're getting carried away, my boy. We still gotta make a revenue. Hold on, we a business. At first, firstly, we a business. Secondly, we nice. You know what I'm saying? That, that, so yeah, we already know that ain't happening. Another thing coming up is Summer League, hosted by NBA 2K25. 2K25 normally hosts the Summer League, and as you know, during Summer League, we get a lot of leaks. That's when the leaks start coming out. We start seeing screenshots. We start seeing people play the game. We see NBA players leaking it through their iPhone. That's when we start getting that ghetto footage, that ghetto gameplay through the iPhone. You know what I'm saying? That's when they start, that's when people start sampling the game. So around July 12th is when we'll start to get more stuff involving gameplay. Now, some of y'all are watching this video and are like, man, I want actual gameplay stuff. We're the real 2K25 gameplay stuff. Well, we normally get little gameplay leaks from Mike Wayne. Mike Wayne hasn't tweeted since October 18th, 2023, talking about the 5v5. That man went around October, 
that man went on vacation he ain't been back since he ain't been back since he he we took him a quick 30 day cruise after that and then he started working on 2k25 he like you know what i needed a break dealing with y'all toxic community y'all harassing me in my comments for the last couple months and me working on this game yeah yeah leave me alone now if y'all don't know mike wayne is the gameplay director he's in charge of all the gameplay that's why we always do tweets around gameplay because he's the direct source of all gameplay stuff he's gonna tell you all the stuff about gameplay so he ain't said a word since 18th october 18th now the last time he talked in the last news cycle the first day he tweeted anything out was this he said this still hard at work but we'll talk soon one small tidbit for now all right he quick drops off one y'all if y'all don't know what this is in 2k23 there was a dunk package called quick drops off one and it was kind of a broken dunk package like all you required was an 80 and you'll just fly through everybody you'll just skyrocket through everybody all you need is an 80 dunk on your build and you're flying to the paint and nobody could stop it like it was broken and that and straight on tomahawks they they straight straight arm still in the game but you gotta have a crazy high dunk for it and then quick drop i don't know if quick drops are still in the game i think they took that out but straight arm is still in the game so i even heard, you know you know how toxic the community is chat let me let me let me yap for a moment you know how toxic this community is they're starting to say they need they want it back i've seen rumbles in in the presses that talk about they want it back they 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 want it back you see what i'm saying y'all see see they they get rid of it and then you want it back you know what i'm saying <laughs> you didn't want archetypes but a lot of people want it back they they, they wanted to build their own build you got it Dang, this, this is too much we need to limit it now yes now now i'm hearing all kind of stuff speaking of that next thing i want to talk about what my boy demi made a video about he made a video talking about nba 2k25 possibly being free to play so i'm gonna run that clip and then i'm gonna let my opinion go so this is what i suggest okay now again this is just my humble opinion i have no backing in 2k when it comes to this i'm just an old head sitting here just speaking my opinion and that's all it is it's just my opinion and everybody knows opinions are like assholes everybody got one and again i have an opinion okay so the first thing that i believe all right that 2k should do is allow the my player builder to have templates to where every single build is absolutely free so an individual can come on the game and start off at whatever level 2k decides desire to be if it's an 85 if it's a uh, 99 overall which i believe it should be a 99 overall so say for instance like the 2k league it really has a good foundation a 2k league basically demi's proposed idea was 2k should allow the templates to be free now i mean if you've been in my streams which i'm showing like background of an old stream very old stream because now you know we didn't got a little bigger but listen back the back in my streams, i was saying when people would ask me what i think what is 2k25 gonna do with the builder i kept saying look bro you always gotta look what they introduce they it ain't going nowhere so they introduced templates hey templates ain't going nowhere bro that the templates was gonna be in the next game 25 is gonna have templates of some sort i, I already knew that I, I i knew that but now he made an interesting point saying what if the templates are free now i'm like oh <laughs> oh i didn't even i didn't even consider that i didn't even consider making the template that's all we can play and make it free you know what i'm saying um all of them free or some free you know maybe maybe if you want to but maybe if you want to make your own you gotta pay but then the other ones are free i'm not sure how they about to do it but what he's proposing is like weapons are like the players basically basically like you know if you got a point guard sharpshooting shot creator that is your weapon technically that you can play with today you can play with any one of the template selected builds. now the issue people gonna have with this i already know i want to make my own build the hell with that what if i want to make my own i take it away from the creativity nah nah i want to make my see that's gonna be the number one complaint all right i read your minds okay that's y'all number one issue right there however it's free to play is that is that a fair exchange you know is that think about that is having the builder capped 
a fair exchange for having it free. Now you already know if the bill, if the game and the bills are free, that means T-shirt about to be 20, 30 k each. Okay, they ain't gonna hit that inflation a different way. They have like they have to, or maybe the pre-order bonus gives you exclusive templates that only the pre-order people can. Oh, see, oh my goodness, oh my. What what if that's the case, chat? What if the templates? are hidden behind a paywall what do i mean just how you can buy packs in my team what if you can buy templates like i like hold on now you got free ones but then you can buy them hold on see see look at me see now i'm thinking like 2k i'm thinking like business mind now what would i do yeah i give y'all y'all free ones just little bot ones you know but some some trash ones that you can run with and play for free you know but then i got some demon ones i got some sweat ones you gotta buy it though. You gotta buy the template. You can't alter. You can't change it, but you sure can buy it. <laughs> you can buy it. You can upgrade it. You know, maybe it's a way to upgrade them. He did mention in the video to upgrade the players. Like you can do little accolades, like get 150 of steals and earn a strap guy badge or something. That's what he had mentioned. Stuff like that. So I mean, you can you know you can customize it like that. He's thinking of it like a Apex type thing, like a like a like a shooter game. And if you were to tweak it, you know, or upgrade your weapons, and you will upgrade my players similarly. Now, what they would do if they add template? All right, they're gonna hit. They're gonna hide it behind a paywall. They're gonna hide a template behind a paywall. Level 40 will be a template. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The season pass will have a template. This new Steph Curry template you can play as. This new LeBron James template you can play. I can already see it. I already can see I'm about to make a full video on the My Player Builder. When we get a little bit more info, I don't have enough info to even I don't I don't have a I don't have much I don't have much info to go off of yet, but I will be making one of those type of videos soon. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all want to see for 2K25. Make sure you stay tuned because guess what? This week we should have another video on 2K25 dropping. Make sure you come back. Watch the video right there on the screen. It was the last video I covered on NBA 2K25. You got to watch that one next, man. Keep it rolling.